Volusia Speedway Park. As the beasts of the Northeast gather four wide, it's time for the ultimate thrill ride. 27 drivers in their 800 horse saddle saluting you as they prepare for battle. It's the Big Block Modified Super Dirt Car Series. Yes. Howdy. Day three in the books here. Oh, it took me like, you don't even see, we have bloopers here. It took me like 10 minutes to figure out how to hold this camera. I got my finger in the camera. Then it's falling down. It's rolling. Um, we're rolling to the racetrack. Um, Thank you to everyone. Dirt Track and Told couldn't afford a Dodge Charger for the week um, <laughs> as a rental car. So uh, we're moving on up. Uh, heading in there, it's 12.20 here in the afternoon. Um, we had to wrap some stuff up. The guys left around 11.15, so we're about an hour behind. Catch up and uh, see what we get done when we get there and see if we can uh, figure it out. I feel like we ended the night very well um, last night with the car handling. It wasn't the finish we wanted, but uh, we're gonna start where we kind of basically ended last night and hopefully that'll uh, put us in a better spot for tonight um, so that we don't roll out so far back. Um, long road, man. We uh, we stayed up in Brunel this time, Palm Coast, and it's like this 18 mile road of nothing. Um, actually, there's some cows, uh, but it's kind of cool. Peace out, thank you all for following. Uh, be ready for day three, dropping shortly. Yeah, they cooked uh, lasagna. 100%. Yes, that would be the chef, Brandon. Yes, the uh, I don't know if the chefs are new. I know we had to get new yolks to fit these bigger huge ones. So that's a brand new yolk. Yeah, like they, they got, they yeah got the yolks are brand new. It shouldn't be spread like that. I reached up and I, I'm like, let me look. And I'm like, yeah, there's a problem. Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm all for the wildlife, but I don't know how I feel about the Cows? Do we call them cows down here? I, I know it's gonna sound silly, but like, we're drinking the water in the pond. Probably have so much runoff. Jeez. Oh my god, they're all over. Like, literally. Right here. This is, this is interesting. I found a baby. It probably means mom's not too far away. Would you wash here with the with the gators? You see the baby? You see the baby? Yeah. He's so cute. Yeah. He's cute. Yeah. So there's definitely more than one gator in the pond. But yeah, so would you would you hang here and be this close and watch your race car next to the gators? I mean, at this point they're used to us, right? But out. I told them to wait for me. I mean, they're not far ahead, I know. Uh, but I told them to wait for me. Now, what, what is Shane doing? <laughs> oh, I got little legs. Is the problem. This is when you find all the crew and drivers. Well, mostly at the ice cream place, but I'm a parent. When they kick us out, what am I going to get to eat? Ooh, egg rolls? Noodles? Documenting the noodles. The fact that the racetrack has this and sells it, I am this is amazing. Mm. <laughs> We're switching up. See if we can get some good juju with some strawberry sundae. Hell yeah. Nice cream lady knew I was. She said she fed me too much on her butt sucked. Come here. 
Hold on, hold on a second, hold on. Uh -oh. Hold on, hold on. You, you ready? Hold on. Oh, we got the money! Oh, the hard clay observer, Dean Reynolds rigging drills. That's right, yes. Do it. You get the pole. I get the pole. If, if it rigs out, we're in trouble. Sorry, it's not the pole. What is it? 63. 63. Oh, 63. Sucks. 63. It's a good number. It's not a I, thought, I thought we weren't fixing it, Lamar. I am now. <laughs> He's gonna like it. Looking like Group B for qualifying. Made his Dirt Car Nationals debut this week. Well, kid's kid, Billy Powell Jr. Billy, I told you. Frenchtown, New Jersey, and the number one, the kid's kid, Billy Powell Jr. with a 17-309. I thought they fixed it, but the right? Or do you want? You, think, you want to switch? Half inch wrench. Go grab a half inch wrench. Do you want to switch battery, Shane, or can we use the clamps?
tell you what it means, but it just wasn't much better. When you, when you put that left rear... Everybody was fast, they were falling in. Yeah. They weren't, they, they weren't. No, you couldn't slide into it. What'd you end up doing? Huh? What'd you end up doing? Uh, just tighten up the clasp, but I want to get a switch in case that master switches to keep the fucking with it, and then it, then it kicked, so... Oh, you think it's the master switch? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll I'll just tighten it. it. Yeah. yeah, just jump it. Jump it. Up, not only for the length of the lines, but uh, no. Ooh, yeah, she's getting her good. Yeah, but it wasn't that bad the other day because I checked it. The only thing I'm thinking, take a you could grind that right there. I bet you that's where it's in. We can try that. Do you want to maybe? I have to slide the rear to the right. Slide it. Look, you're under a car, like just a I don't know quarter inch. Yeah, go a turn. Two turns, you know? Go two turns. All right. It's going to free us up a little bit, but we're going to have to do what we got to do because that, that's going to hit. I know. I just don't want to see a bunch of holes in the tank. Nope. You can grind that. Yeah. Right but I'll here. take that corner off and then yeah, I'll just... Just take that a little bit and then maybe go an eighth over. Okay. All right. All right. I had a document in Billy's spooning under the car. They'll love me later for it. I would hit up on the power wire okay. and it would just stop. That ground. Hard. Can we get another ground wire? Yeah, do we have one? I don't know. Let's see if Barry says it. It's dirty in there. Oh, well, that could be. But you can turn the whole thing. You don't have it tight. About that once we get through the. Yeah, I left it alone. I don't know, man. I don't know if you guys tighten up much here or not. Uh, I, 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 you know, when you got a good car, you hate the fuck with shit. Well, you know I mean? here this weekend, it seems like being loose isn't necessarily good, but yeah. being tight is bad. It's bad. So. how the starting lineup will go for this one. A driver who made his Dirt Car Nationals debut this week will sit on the front row out of Frenchtown, New Jersey. And the number one, that is the kid's kid, Billy Pouch Jr. He'll start at the inside of row number one into the couple of fresh faces and a redraw a little bit later as they'll roll down through turn number three and four. Green flag is out on the speedway. We're underway with heat race number four.
gets the five inside of row three. What's it been like getting the acclimated to Volusia this week, Billy? <laughs> we started off a little rough here. Uh, got the car a lot better. Guys keep working at it, and uh, they just keep making changes, man. This is a really cool track. Uh, my kids have been watching all week, they ain't seen much of me, so at least they got on the game, and uh, thanks to everyone and all my sponsors, and uh, we'll see what we got in the future, rolling off fifth. All right, Billy Pouch Jr. Put it away, we're getting out of here tonight. There's still... A little bit out there. Just the dock. On the but 40 laps. Still, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. It ain't gonna last a whole time, but if you want to bang your right rear on that cushion, it'll be there for a well, while. Well, how long does he? How long? If, does, it all depends on if he tills it or not. Right. Well, I got this feature. Yeah. Well, there's he till in between. If he tills it, I got 20 laps, I think, to get him keep up there and roll. I just went for a cup of coffee, and George and my dad drank every single cup of coffee there is possible. Uh -oh. yeah. No, we're good. Um, <laughs> All good. We uh, we timed second overall in our gate to type B group B, whatever the heck it is, and uh, started on the pole. Um, played Lily Dally going into one, and uh, let the guy get alongside me, and then just stepped up and drove. Um, we start fifth, and uh, we'll go from there. It's slick and slick and slick, and we'll see what we got. We're in, we're in, we're in my slick Achilles seal. Let's see what we got. Well, we got to go because we got we're up next. No, not left front. Left front's fine. Left rear. Okay. Okay, have fun. Hey, <laughs> don't suck. That too. You're great. You know that. Town, New Jersey, and the number one, the kid's kid, Billy Pouch Jr. Volusia Speedway Park, as the beast of the Northeast gather four wide, it's time for the ultimate thrill ride. 27 drivers in their 800 horse saddle saluting you as they prepare for battle. It's the big block modified Super Dirt Car Series. Billy Pouch Jr. works the outside. He's looking to get to the number six spot past Justin Stone and try to recrack the top five here from the early going of this feature event. Pouch got caught up a little too high that time. That allowed Stone to dive back underneath him as they work down through the corner. But Yellow is going to be out on the speedway. 
Lightning, Larry White going to bring him off turn number three and four. Green flag is back out on the speedway. 16 to go here in tonight's feature event. Larry White's opened it back up to a 1.1 second advantage. As you're looking at Billy Pouch Jr. continuing his battle, trying to get into the top five. He gets caught a little bit too high. It happened a couple of times as he was past Demetrius Trellos for about a half a lap before in turn number one, it looked like he just missed the cushion and up in turn three and four. Meanwhile, Justin Stone on the bottom of the racetrack looking to crack the top five as they go into turn number one and two. He'll take the number five spot away. Justin Stone, who's running for Rookie of the Year in the 2024 season, up to fifth. Alex Payne trying to find his way now past the driver to Frenchtown, New Jersey after Demetrius Trellos and the one of Pouch has had a close quarter battle in three and four. Larry White trying to clear the 20 of Brett Hearn. They come together as Larry got loose. They make contact in turn three and four. That sends Hearn to the outside wall. Larry tries to keep going, but comes right down onto the right front of Eric Rudolph. As he drives it into one and two, he hops the cushion and then ends up going up and over. And a heartbreak for Larry White. As you see the contact between with Eric Rudolph and then just goes up to the high side, hits it hard and goes up and over. And that brings out the red flag with seven laps remaining in this feature event. Stretch and you're running down the top of it and you're by yourself. I'm fucking you're fucking yeah. But when I'm, I'm stuck, it's like fucking air, it's fucking air or something. <laughs> We're not mic'd up right now. Oh, I don't give a shit right now. I'll, I don't give a fuck. I'll say it right now. <laughs> I told you, I'm just going to blur it. Bleep, bleep. We're good. I was good. Man. I don't know who that was, but they just about yanked the door open on me in the porta potty. You want to be on it? <laughs> um, no, we got 13. He he was hammered. Literally was up to fifth. And hi guys, good night. Um, was up to fifth and hammer the top, hammer the top, and literally there was no nowhere to go on the bottom. Then I think it was like. Phelps, Drellos, a few guys kind of just in the, in the way. Not like 
I don't want to say not in a bad way, but in a bad way because it kind of screws. So, that's that. But, I don't know. I mean, first, I look at it as we finally made the redraw on day three. Third night out. Finally made the redraw, which against almost 50 cars. And we're racing against guys who have been racing here for years. So, three races under our belt against guys that have been here for years. I give Billy and the team a lot of credit. What would you say? Would you say that? I think so. Because that was impressive. Sucky. Finish. I was really pulling for a top 10, but. So I think everyone is pretty much loading up as if we are going home home because tomorrow's weather doesn't look good. So we're pretty much strapping everything down accordingly and moving to higher grounds because notoriously you get stuck down here in the gator pond so we don't want to get stuck. Negative. Yeah, I think so. Making it work. What am I gonna do when everyone else is? Last until that last question. Keith, give us an extra period. Wait, hang on. We need to recap. 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 I thought we'd do this at the house. Oh, we can. Uh, but okay. you're here, so cheers. Fuck. We won the heat. Uh, started fifth. Had the back of blinkers on. Got back to ten. Got up to fifth. And then got really, 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 really tight and then stuck behind a bunch of people that just like to run the middle of the track and they did 13th. So the ending finish sucked, to not to show what we had with the car. Volusia's definitely badass. Uh, really cool place to race, fast, wicked. Um, these guys worked their butt off. Now we're getting out of here just in case it rains tomorrow. Well, when it rains tomorrow. Yes, it is. Beer 30? Yes, it is. All right. Woohoo! Yay! Yep. What about out in the front? No, I'm just saying in a spot. I know you could put that How thing anywhere. You're like all-state champion, champion, man. Pocket. That's, ah, that's right. The other day. You were a Watch these guys pile up in their cute little little mom van. <laughs> okay, bless all the people that actually stick down here. I pray for you guys that you actually get out in the morning. Cause if it rains, it ain't gonna be pretty. They supposedly. I mean, by the time you're watching this, you obviously already know. Ho. Oh, um. Whoa, look at the size of that toter. Nice. Whoa. Um, they already postponed the Daytona 500 to Monday. So if that doesn't say how much rain we're going to get, yeah. I don't know. Tell me. Comment below. What do you think? Do I give you a technically day four of Dark Car Nationals? Like, do I just continue to videotape, like, even though... The race is canceled. Do I show you what we end up doing? I don't know what the heck we're going to do in Florida when it's raining. But what do you think? Maybe let, Mike always comes up with some creative word. Let's go with... I don't know. I see it. It's going to... I'm not, I'm not creative like him. Um, comment palm tree. I don't know. We're in Florida. I just drove by a palm tree. Comment palm tree. It's probably not that fun. What was Mike's that he came up with? I don't know. But comment palm tree. And I will videotape whatever the heck we do tomorrow. Deal. It looks like we got the dirt officials directing us to wherever the heck. We're supposed to park on higher grounds, guys. And I think... This is where I am supposed to be going. I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going next. All right, not not too shabby of a spot. Clean, clean shot out to the road. Oh, you want a beer? What's my thing? I'll take whatever. This thing. Shane. We always got clothes out. You can't can't oh. not. I still don't know what the place is though. Oh, uh. Outlet Vista. Outlet Village. We hung out at Outlet Village. Yeah, we did. I still don't know what the place is though. Oh, uh. Outlaw Village. We hung out at Outlaw. I like it. Outlaw Village. That was pretty, yeah. that was pretty cool. That was fun. So, looks like uh, quite a bit of trailers have pulled out of the pits. But, uh, like I told you guys, comment. Shane, I told people to comment 
palm tree if they want palm us tree. yeah if they okay. if they want us to uh do a video of our rain out tomorrow all right you ready for a rain out video tomorrow uh, maybe i might already be in a truck on the way home oh yeah you're leaving yeah. me yeah oh, you yeah suck. Well, never mind someone's got to go with the truck trail yeah i appreciate you mm -hmm. yeah you gotta bring my suitcase home for me Thank we'll you. do it okay that's fine all right we'll so charge your freight okay like the video subscribe the channel yeah like them yeah they're, yeah, yeah. They're not bad. Right. <laughs> and give us all the love and you know hopefully uh it'd be great if we race tomorrow kind of doubtful but we shall see how well you know what let's let's close out with this shane how like what was your overall feeling of like your first time at Volusia with billy it wasn't bad it wasn't going to be easy we had a it was going to be an uphill battle but i today it was it was good we won the heat and made progress got him comfortable in the car and you know the feature could have been a little better but mm. hey hopefully we'll come back next year and we'll try to make it better let's do it okay bye guys yeah.